Hello YouTubers, this video is a review of those uh, RF alarm systems, uh, RFID uh, with a reader and some key fob uh, tags uh, to uh, which are recognized by the reader. Uh, you can find on eBay for less than ten dollars. I thought that these would be a neat uh, little uh, kit to try out I guess for various electronic projects like turning on a light uh, turning on an ignition system, I guess, on a motorcycle or a car, or turning on a electric door lock through a solenoid or electromagnet. Uh, the problem is, I guess, when I finally got this thing, uh, and I guess this, the documentation isn't quite clear, but what it is actually, in fact, is a system that turns off a circuit, not turns on. Uh, essentially, uh, it comes with uh, three loose wires. So basically, connected to it already is the RF induction coil uh, through which I guess you swipe the uh, key fobs on. An LED indicator, uh, when it's triggered on, this turns on. The control box, the control box I've uh, opened up and essentially what you have is a relay in here that gets switched on when the, uh, the key tag is recognized. Uh, so basically the system recognized two different uh, key tags. There's uh, serial numbers on them and I guess these have been hard coded into uh, the firmware I guess for the control box. And what it does basically is on the green wire uh, which is typically connected to the ground by default gets turned off when the, the RFID tag is recognized. So like I said it turns the circuit off not on so if you wanted to turn uh, like in this case, if it actually attached a 12 volt uh, LED, it wouldn't work out of the box. So what I ended up doing is using two relays in series to uh, invert the logic, basically. So instead of switching uh, circuit off, it will switch switch it on. So these two yellow wires basically turn the circuit on. So I got this LED light connected to a 12 volt source, uh, and you need it to two LEDs. So basically. Uh, the circuit doesn't get turned on by accident if it gets disconnected or not and only get triggered by the RK key fob. So, turn it on. I got a 12 volt battery pack going on here that connects this thing and when you swipe the key fob on the reader the red LED indicator is on and the light LED comes on as well. Now that's all fine and dandy, but the other thing is you can't turn it off. The only way to turn it off basically is to turn the power off. So in this case, the battery. Uh, so it'd be uh, useful, I guess, to turn to actually add a switch on that circuit to the power source if you want to turn it off and reset it to basically uh, come on again for the next use or next user for that system, uh, depending on what you want to use. But that's the way it works. So, uh, look into the description of the video for uh, details on the schematic connections, I guess, for those uh, relays. 